The East Coast Railway is going digital. Over the next six years, the LNER route between London and Grantham will see a once-in-a-generation transformation of the railway signalling. This will make travel greener, more reliable and safer. ETCS, the European Train Control System, will reduce delays and decrease carbon emissions whilst creating thousands of jobs in the supply chain. But how will we achieve this? Traditional line-side signals have worked for over a century by breaking up the railway into blocks that let us know which section of track a train is in. The line-side signals control the trains in blocks behind to slow down or stop them, keeping all trains safely separated. The problem is, that's not the most efficient way of doing things. A train running at high speed needs a different braking space to, for example, a stopping or freight service, but currently they all use the same signals, working in the same way. The industry is embarking on a transformational upgrade programme to replace the traditional line-side signals with state-of-the-art digital in-cab signalling. This will transform how the railway works, with huge benefits for our customers. The new technology continuously communicates with each train, so signallers know the exact location of everything running on the network, in real time, whilst our drivers have access to live information through their onboard systems. Instead of those fixed distances with physical infrastructure, the signals can adapt to the requirements of each service. This means we can better use the railway and safely increase capacity, allowing us to react better to disruption by reducing the knock-on effect of delays. To stay up to date and find out how we're signalling a new era in train travel, visit us at lnar.co.uk forward slash ecdp.